David Gaum in the Stained Glass Studio and this is the third of this particular project, the Stained Glass Christmas Tree. And on this video, we'll give some instruction on how to solder the stained glass Christmas tree. All right, now on this, we're gonna, on soldering any, any of these sun catcher type pieces, the first thing we do is tin each of the, the pieces. And that makes them go together a lot quicker. And so what I do is I put flux, which is a light acid, around the copper foil, and that cleans it really chemically so that the two metals will stick together. And then I just run a bead of solder, and you see how I'm running using both the soldering iron and the solder mm -hmm. to, uh, um, to move my piece around. All right, so see now I'm... Now that piece is fluxed on that side, and I can flip it and just... Finish it, and I'm not sure. You know, some people, uh, some some people at the age of uh, 18 have a really, really difficult time soldering, and others, um, uh, we've had a couple of 12 year olds who were, who were really good. In fact, your brother Kean, um, he was 12 or 13, and he did a, a practicum or an internship, one, a one day job shadow that was mm -hmm. what it was called and he came over and saw how we ran our stained glass business and we had him we let him do a piece of stained glass and he he did a, a great job it was a, he was a natural and so that that just goes to show you that a 12 year old can do it all right and then now i to assemble it we just put the two pieces together Okay, now Sam, if I left it just like that, what do you think would happen if I took the two pieces and went like that? They would break. They would. They would break really easily. So in order to make it um, stronger, what I like to do is I put a, a bead of solder in each corner. See how that, that looks kind of like a corner brace and it's mm -hmm. rounded. Well, that extra metal gives it more strength. And so, if you accidentally bump it, uh, you won't you won't break it as easily. Okay, now I'm letting it cool just a little bit more. Okay, it's solid now, and I can flip it over and do the other side. This side is really easy to solder because Allie um, had extra foil on on that side. All right, now I need to put a ring on it, and the ring is to hang it. And uh, see, this is a, I have two sizes of rings, and I've used both of them on, on these Christmas tree kind of ornaments. Okay, see this, this big one, when I put a big one on, I put it so that it kind of hangs over on both sides. And so you, when you, you put a piece of wire through it to hang it from, you can get it on both sides. But I'm not going to put that size on. I just wanted to show you that it could go there. Okay. Or I put it so that it just clipped so that it... But this is a tinier one. And uh, I have to take them apart because they get tangled up in the bag. <laughs> okay, you know. now what I do is put the split part down in the solder. I want that to, to get soldered up with it. And I just clean my soldering iron. Get a little bead of solder, 
put it in place. Now I don't move it until it's completely hardened. Okay. If I move it before then, what happens is that the, um, the solder gets crystallized and then that's a, that's a weak joint. So if we, uh, so it's done except for cleaning. Well, I hope this has been instructive for you. Um, some parts are probably things you already know about. Other parts are new. Um, I would hope that you would l like to do these projects. Um, if you subscribe and click on that bell notification, um, you'll be able to get get to all of the projects that we're uploading. These are our weekend uploads, not to be confused with Jeannie's Wisdom Wednesday uploads that get put up on Wednesdays at around noon. Mm -hmm.